If we look at the life of some of the prophets, it appears they have had a lot of hardships. Ibrahim salam and our Nabi Wasallam had to migrate away from their homeland. Prior to that, Yahya salam was brutally beheaded. And according to some historians, Zakaria salam was also martyred. So, the question would be, how do we explain the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this verse? And similar things could apply to group of believers. History tells us many atrocities have been committed against pious believers of the past. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is confirming his support, his promise of support, then how do we explain the hardships and trials that happened in the past. Where was the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at that time? Scholars explain that the verse mentions Nusra, meaning help or support. And it could be taken as Intisar, meaning victory. So if the support is not obvious during the life of prophets and believers, then it becomes evident in the defeat of their enemies after their death. In other words, the prophets and the believers may have been killed, but their religion, their call will prevail in the world, and their enemies will be destroyed, even if that happens after the passing away of the prophets and the believers. That is the promise of Allah, that they will be victorious. It's about intisar. 